Hello! Hello there guys, I'm Alexander Man and I'm a part of... Jungle Beat. Um, exactly. Well this man said this is Alexander Sandalis. Hello! And we're here today to review Flatbush Zombies mm. new track called You and I featuring Dia. Dia. And we fuck with Flatbush Zombies. Yeah. After hearing them open for um, Run the Jewels, excuse me, man. I'm so mad I missed that. But you know how many people were just there to see Flatbush or more excited to see Flatbush? I would have been, well that's the thing they haven't been to Australia for. I was going to get tickets just to see them because I'd already seen Run the Jewels. I know Run the Jewels are dope, but I wanted to get that ticket just to see Flatbush, but I think I just didn't have money at the time. I'd argue they put on a bet. the openers put on a better performance yep. than Run the Jewels themselves. Fuck, man. Fuck. But they're coming out with a new album soon and... Yep. Um, this is, I guess, the single leading up to it, You and I. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about the album title or the... I think it's like, oh. Welcome to Hell, I think, something like that. Oh, what's wrong with that? I don't know if that's it, but I remember seeing the title, the album title, and I just wasn't a big fan of the, what, it, what it was. And I, the album art's okay. I think it could be better, too. Okay. That's just me, though. Like, 3001 Alice Odyssey fucking artwork was crazy, and it's a dope name for an album, but so far, the first single, Headstone, I really fucking love. I love the, the throwbacks. And the ode to a lot of the classics, but let's see what they do here. Let's see what they do here. Wanna hold you close and never let go. Yeah, she said, baby, I'm gone, man. I'm just gonna do it down, don't kill me. She brought it in the sky, and I get so high that I forgot about last night. And the world, and the world. That was fucking dope. I mean, obviously Michi Darko stole made the that show song, though. right? Like, because during the start of it, I was like, okay, I like the way they've started this off with the with the with the with the chicks like Dia singing, and then it kind of went straight into the song. And I was like, okay, Eric Arc Elliott starting off pretty good. You know, he's got to be flow. But then Juice, I wasn't feeling Juice too much on there. Whereas Juice was amazing. I thought on um, Headstone, but on here he kind of like I just felt he didn't match it very well. But then Michi came in and he absolutely fucking killed it, and I was just like paying the fuck attention. Yeah. Like, and then the beat built around him with the choir. And smoothing it back down and building it back up, I was like, fuck, this is dope. Very happy with that song. That is, to me, that'd be a track that you'd probably around the end of the album, but not the last track. So I reckon if the, let's, let's say there's 13 tracks in the album coming out, it'll be like track 11. I can see it being there. Love the production. Love Michi. Bro, you said it well, man. You said, you know, I haven't really got more to add to that. You know, they really built that song well, well around uh, mm -hmm. Michi right there. And he delivered. 
Yeah, I feel like Meech definitely probably spat on that and just kept spitting and Eric would have been just like, just keep going, man. Yeah, like, man. This is our thing. We're a group. Like, honestly, as much as I love Eric Arcade like, and Zombie Juice, I still love them a lot. I would fucking love for Michi Darko eventually to go solo. A solo career? I would love a solo album for him so much. It's like Wu Tang. No, no one up. sounds like him, bro. No, he is probably in my top, top five sort of voices in hip hop. I think my top three voices would be like Michi would be there. I love Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs's voice. I reckon he's got one of the best flows and voices in hip hop. Yeah, like and Mexico. And then I also and also I love. Um, I remember it later, but um, he had a more real, real unique high pitch voice. I can't remember right now. But that's a good. Fuck, that's, man. That's, that's a great like little list. Yeah, but yeah, I, I love that track. That was sick. Alright man, Jungle Beats man, Flatbush Zombies, we will do the album when it comes out, of course. 100%. Love it. Gonna be so excited when that shit drops. See ya! Bye! Don't forget to subscribe man, if you made it all this far and you haven't subscribed, what the fuck are you doing man? It's like a go- get, you get the edge of the rainbow you, and you, you see the gold right there, you gotta get the fucking gold man, the gold's there, get the gold, don't forget the gold, shit, subscribe. I am like Randy Savage on acid, that's very vibrant and classic, a walking disaster hazard to any rapper that's rapping, we the underground killers, but globally they feel us cause we restoring the feeling, this guru spit voodoo.